Welcome back, school year 2015-2016. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the building and show you some uh, significant changes that were done over the summer. And we're gonna get a chance to meet some new teachers. So welcome back, New Market. One of our major changes is a new crosswalk that we'll use for um, accessing the high school art room. Uh, push the button and a signal will go off for 30 seconds to indicate that we can cross the street. It's looking good, we got the traffic stopping, so we're gonna head on over. Okay, welcome to our new art room. Um, this used to be Perkins uh, Insurance Agency. We've been able to do a full modification, uh, renovation of this building, and this will become high school art. It's great because we're gonna get about 400 more square feet uh, from the last location that we had back in the junior, senior high school. So as you can see, walls have been painted, uh, floor has been put in, space has been created. With this is a luxury that we have three dedicated spaces that are much larger for a Photoshop, for the kiln room, and there's a bathroom right here in this building. Welcome back to the building. Uh, we're gonna take a stroll through, meet some new teachers, look at some new classroom spaces. We'll start off with the sixth grade, which is uh, the biggest class that we've had at Newmarket Junior Senior High School. Currently 100 kids are coming in. If they all stay together, it'll be 100 kids graduating uh, in the class of 2022. Let's go take a look. Morning. How are we doing? Good. Just taking a tour, seeing some new faces for the first day of school. We're taking care of schedules. Okay. Right? Seeing if anybody here is going to break the camera. I will. Maybe Caleb. I don't know. <laughs> Cataract. Ms. Cataract will be here starting off with Ms. Bolio here. So she is a new staff member to start the year. And a bunch of sixth grade new faces. Ms. Avril, can you just say hi real quick? Because we're doing a quick tour so New Market knows who the new seventh grade teacher is this year. <laughs> and all our returning, oh, new, new seventh graders. And I was going to say returning sixth graders, Owen. Uh, we'll let you go to seventh grade, don't worry about it. All right. I'm sorry to hear you. That's all right. So these two classrooms were redone this summer. New ceilings, new light, um, walls were painted and touched up. Um, asbestos was taken out of this building, uh, this, this classroom and the last one. When we come out here, this is a new um, wall that was put in to encase our stairway. This is one of the last things that we had to do for fire and life safety was to enclose the last stairway. And we've done that uh, both on the downstairs wing and the upstairs wing of the middle school part. With that, we had to move uh, the doors. The doors actually used to be where the wall is, so that was a big undertaking, was to move the doors and move some plumbing that was uh, in the way of moving those doors. Let's say hi to Miss Sylvia. She's in a new room, so we'll just say hi. Everyone say hi. She's up with eighth grade. She moved with her kids. Uh, yes, very exciting day. Very exciting day. Have a good day. Come in Miss Perk's room. This classroom was redone over the summer as well with new uh, ceiling, new lighting, uh, new flooring. Um, asbestos was taken out of this classroom as well as the room that Miss Sylvia is in now. Thanks, Logan. Good morning. How are we doing? You should take a bottom locker. Okay. Uh oh. You'll need to talk to All right. Uh, let's go down and we're going to check out uh, the new hallway that was created over the band room. Gives us access from first floor to second floor, from the gymnasium up until the, to the second floor. Say hi to Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy worked as a special educator last year. He's going to be our 11th grade English this year. You can tell by the goofy tie, he's already ready for it. <laughs> So this is a new hallway that was put in this summer on the back of our science classrooms. Uh, it now gives us access all the way down to the second um, 
So another uh, stairwell was put in from the second story. We can now go down all the way down to the gymnasium and out. So it's another area of egress. Um, one of the cool things that was created was um, some more natural light coming into the band room with some observation glass. So uh, while classes are performing, we can actually come up and, and look at them. Maybe even VIP seating in the future for, for future performances. And this is the crazy dress advisory. Is that cool? Yeah, this is kind of part of like where the loft used to be, right? Yeah, so the loft used to be right here. So this, this right here used to be the back of classroom 215. And this was a loft that was uh, against fire code, so we hadn't used it in about five years. We used to have uh, some office space up there, so we lost it. So now we've repurposed the space as a walkway, a mezzanine, to come through um, for gym up to the second floor. Uh, so it, it's really nice because it's another access in and out. We have a five-stop elevator going on. Here is the top floor of where the uh, doorway will be in for the elevator. So students will be able to come out, access the second floor. The next floor down is for the stage access. So students will be able to ride the elevator and go across through double doors to get across to the stage. All of these were put in this summer uh, for the second floor. So steel beams being put in manufactured right in part of our building. To get to the first floor of the building, here's the third stop. Please catch this on video. Keep going, keep going. Tyler is excited to be back at school, and that's what he's going to do if he scores a goal this year. All right. First, second uh, stop of the elevator will be right there so students can access the gym off the elevator. And then the first stop will be down in the weight room. So we've got a ramp. Students will be able to now access the weight room. Um, you know, it could be for any future space since the elevator will go up. Um, again, we're putting our, our weight room back together slowly uh, as we're going to build a closet space for, for athletic storage. Um, so again, still work in the progress, but uh, the, all the bones are here so we can run school and run school safely. So we're on the back of the stage, and you can see the new ramp that's come in uh, for students that, uh, or, or uh, individuals that have, uh, need to get on the stage that have, uh, need handicap access. So this ramp comes off the back of the door, and there are stairs as well. Um, so it'll all be hidden. Um, during a performance. Uh, these are the back curtains, so you won't even see it, but we will be able to get a, uh, someone with a, with a uh, handicap onto the stage for the first time um, without actually picking them up and putting them on. Mr. Lavasser, Ryan Lavasser is our transition coordinator. We're glad to have him back. He was a pair and then uh, left for a couple of years and he's back in a, in a very important job here uh, and is already making connections with kids. Mr. Saucer is joining us this year made his way down from the tip of New, uh, New Hampshire down, down to the seacoast area. So Mr. Soster will be here with us uh, in, in many different roles uh, throughout the building. Say hello to Mr. Neary. Mr. Neary was our transition coordinator last year. He's taken over at the high school special ed position. Uh, and here he is with his high school advisory. Good morning. Glad to be back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> our tech department, Jason Carey and Chris Cooney, did a nice job. And they've updated um, this lab with new desks. And uh, the one nice thing about these is these desks can be mobile. So if we wanted to do testing, uh, we can take this entire room out and go move it to another room or bring more computers in here uh, if need be. So nice cleanup by our tech department. As you can see, they're busy at work, so they're not even in their offices right now. I'm sure they're helping out staff and students with any uh, last minute problems that may have arisen today. You'll see a ton of these throughout our, our uh, school. We have uh, 300 Chrome carts that we've been able to amass over the last couple of years, which really helps put technology in students' hands. So multiple carts that we store them in, about 25 per cart, uh, both upstairs and downstairs. And here's Mr. Cooney himself. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Hey. It's like an know? entrance from Seinfeld right there. Yeah, I know. I'm a busy guy. Hey, yo. <laughs> We're doing our tour. This is Ms. O'Neill, who is a special education case manager here in the building, and Ms. Lauer, who will be here uh, teaching um, course and music appreciation. So we're glad to have both of them on board this year. Just saying hello, welcoming them back, staff. Ms. Gatnini uh, brings us uh, much joy coming back this year on her one year leave of absence. So welcome back, Ms. Gatnini, here with her senior advisory. These guys, one more year, and they're out of here. So, 
Have fun, Miss Gap. Good bunch here. It is. Ready for a great year, right? All right. Thank you. So this room is our new multi-sensory classroom. We do have students coming up with uh, multiple disabilities, and this room gives us the capability to do what they do down at the elementary school for quite some time with students that were in this need. It is a climate control classroom. It does have a sensory room. This used to be the old art room that we had, uh, and it was perfect because it has its own private office. It has storage where the kiln used to be. The old um, f uh, photography lab is now our sensory room where these students can really benefit from sensory input in that room. It's a work in progress, um, but it's giving in the access to what we need for students not only today, but in the future. Hi. Just saying hi, taking a quick okay. tour. It's a new hi. teacher, Miss Smart. <laughs> we were saying hi. We were <laughs> including you with the new teachers, Miss Smart, even though you've been here for how many years? Do you really want the number? We do. This is my first day of my 40th year. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I know. Isn't that scary? So this will be the access door um, for that multi-sensory classroom. It gives us immediate access so they don't have to come into the main part of the building. Um, they'll have transportation to be dropped off in, in the back of the building uh, and be able to access the building through a keyless entry uh, that we put in. Makes quick access for anybody that needs to get in to help out with, uh, with any needs for those students. So this is our consumer science classroom and we're in the um, cooking lab and I wish at home you had uh, smell-o-vision because it smells delicious in here. Uh, I think cinnamon coffee cake or something has been cooked in here and it's probably because we got some new ranges. Uh, so the first time they've been used, um, the old ranges were about 25 years old so glad to up upgrade that this year. Morning. Hi. There we go. Hello. Morning. Say hello. Say hello to Miss Keniston. We'll be teaching math here at the high school level this, this year and a multi grade level advisory. And Miss Blaylock, other high school math is back for another year. So, classroom looks great. Thank you. Good, how are you? I'm all right. Uh, they usually do. Hi, Miss Doucette. Hi. You have a whole classroom to yourself? Well, that's nice. All right, we're gonna make. Trip to the new hallway. All right, I was gonna embarrass Miss McGilvery, but oh, maybe there she is. Here they come. All right, and here they come back. Uh, usually, on the first day of school, their advisory kids um, go about the building, go through their fire exits. Um, a lot of the the classes are checking out the new part of the building. Um, and as you can hear, Miss McGilvery's already lost one student, so it's right off to the start of another school year. Right back at it, Miss McGilvery. Well, that's it for our tour. Um, thank you for coming. I, I hope this has answered some of your questions and you've got to see some of the changes and new staff that will be welcoming us um, to the start of the 15-16 school year. Enjoy. Bye. Here you go, ready.